better. Good, good, good. Okay, I am not sure whether we are live, but then like, you know, yeah. Oh, it's live. <laughs> That's nice. Is it live now? It's live now. Okay. But I was trying to prepare, uh, you know, how we are going to go about it, but then it's live. So, and, and I know how live you are. So let me, <laughs> let me introduce yourself. So, or should I go, should I sign out and log in back again so that I, we can start with the introduction? It doesn't matter. Whatever is fine. Okay, perfect. So let me welcome you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So let me uh, tell our viewers a little bit about you and then I will just, you know, uh, put some questions and then whatever you want to come and whatever you want to tell our viewers, uh, we'll be really happy to, you know. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Perfect. So Joanna has 15 years of experience in healing heal, healing arts and she's principal um, bioresonance therapist with training in burnout and adrenal health, chronic illness management and uh, psychosomatic applications energy restoration and healing so that's a lot of stuff which you're doing and you are like you know principal therapist bioresonance therapist and she's um she's the coordinator of the center uh, centers um, so she's working in eco health and wellness center and uh, she's bioresonance principal bioresonance therapist there so let's welcome uh, joanna crop thank you so much joanna for being here oh thank you Great. So what is your driving force to, uh, to serve the community the way you are serving? It's such a, uh, you know, it's, I can feel your energy. Whenever <laughs> I a clinic and uh, so tell us a little bit more about you. Um, well, I got, I mean, originally before I did this, I was a teacher for 10 years. I taught middle school. Um, for yeah i mean that was like my first career and i, I still really identify with being a teacher um and a lot of what i do i feel like it's teaching people how to take care of themselves and teaching people how to be healthy um but the i think i was always interested in in some you know spiritual sort of aspects but when i was teaching i was very much focused on teaching until i had my own experience with a burnout where i actually quit my job and um, in order to recover from my burnout, I had to start to take uh, my energetic health really seriously. And so then I got uh, into to heal myself. I got into studying all sorts of different healing modalities uh, to heal me. And then it just so happened that I was able, when Dr. Krop, uh, who happens to be my dad, but when he gave up his medical license to work completely as an alternative healer, um, it just happened to coincide when I was leaving Vancouver and moving back to Toronto. And it just happened to coincide that we started to work with this technology called bioresonance. And I felt that it was sort of like a quantum technical application of a lot of energetic healing arts that I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, so part of my excitement about doing everything is because I like healing for me. Like I enjoy being the recipient of healing. And so, and I know how good it can feel when you finally get over some hurdle of having been sick, burnt out, you know, whatever the issue is. And that, you know, you don't have to be stuck in that. Like you can actually overcome that and, and pass through to the other side. And so when you've had that experience, like I had that experience. So then you naturally want other people to have that too, right? To know that you don't have to be stuck in a place of feeling awful. Like it, there are lots of ways to move through across. Um, so that's sort of where my passion for it comes from. And I just, I love anything, you know, related to energy, um, spiritual healing, energetic healing. Cause I really feel that that, it's not just that it's interesting. I mean, it is interesting, but I feel like that is, fundamentally that's where all illness and wellness begins is at the energetic level so when you can heal at the energetic level i feel like you're really connecting to like the really like you're at the core of where healing happens so that's very exciting that's so good to hear that you know once you are treated yourself and then you are uh, you know spreading the same uh, vibes and energy to everyone who's needing it Okay, so what other modalities uh, you're working on these days other than uh, bioresonance? 
So I should probably explain what bioresonance is because it sounds like this, like, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really describe, describe what, what it is. It is. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's there, I think there are different technologies you can use, but basically it's like quantum healing um, via the application of frequencies mm -hmm. um, and, and oscillations and using the body's own, own energy to heal itself. But it's not a hands-on thing. It's actually a technology that, it's a, that generates oscillations and frequencies and works with the body to heal it. Um, you can work with the oscillations of the, of the body itself and send healing frequencies. Frequency. You can send um, healing frequencies to repair the body. You can detoxify things that are unhealthy, like pathogenic imprints, energetic imprints of, you know, different toxins or molds or whatever it happens to be. And you can eliminate those from the body. So when you energetically eliminate it, you allow your body's natural healing energy just starts to run without interference. You're removing blockages. So that's like bioresonance application. Um, yeah, so that's like on that's on the, the sort of the more physical. I think it's a very spiritual technology, but actually, it's like you, we use it very physically and scientifically, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. um, but one one, so I used to do like hypnosis and Reiki and all of these things. But I finally, you know, when I when I put it together to how I work as a healer, I found that the healing methodology that worked best for me was is something called theta healing, mm -hmm. and this is like a it's like a spiritual healing. It's almost like the next if you know what Reiki is, like life force energy okay. healing. Like, it's, it's almost all, like, like the next level of that because it doesn't require hands on. It's all done via distance, um, but it's working on your belief systems and the energy behind the belief systems and changing those so that you can shed the belief systems that are creating blockages in your, in your life, in your health. It doesn't have to be just physical health, like emotional life, relationships, whatever it happens to be. And what I really love about Theta Healing is that it actually works on the spiritual DNA level and on, this, on, the, on that sort of like energetic cellular level. You know how sometimes people say like, they say, um, well, you have the cellular memory of whatever, you know, the illness or it's on, a, it's on a cellular memory. So you actually are working with like that level of quantum particle that you're removing the cellular memory and you're actually removing it from, from the memory of, of the cell. So you're able to close the receptors that held that belief in place. And then uh, through the like spiritual technology of, of theta healing, you're able to open new receptors on the cells for the new experience and the new belief and bring downloads so the body knows how to live with new beliefs. Because the, the whole thing about healing is we're guided by sometimes faulty beliefs, right? And, and just ways from our conditioning and our upbringing and whatever it happens to be. So when we can change that, we're actually changing the underlying structure of like how we live and that supports all of our healing. So theta healing for me is like, yeah, it's, it's like a beautiful healing system that's like supportive. That's, uh, that's um, such an insight. And you know, meanwhile, I was trying to go live on Facebook as well. So I was coordinating. That. Oh, that's okay, don't worry. <laughs> so hearing you. So we are live on Facebook and there are a couple of people joining, but I would love to be here. And then, uh, you know, I'll ask you more questions. So what sure. your resonance therapy can, uh, you know, uh, can help in? So what are the, I have seen the brochure there at the clinic. It helps in chakra activation. That was, you know, that, that was my interest, uh, you know. Yeah. You're a yogini and yoga teacher. And you yourself is a yoga teacher as well. So tell us. A long, I, 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 I taught yoga when I lived in Vancouver. I haven't really taught any since. Okay, so but then it's it's deep rooted inside somewhere, and this have you tried chakra activation through bioresonance? Uh, I have, I have tried it. Um, mm -hmm. I've done it actually a lot. I find like for most people, it's very calming because it just it calms that whole center, mm -hmm. um, and because you're taking information, it's not just sending the frequency to heal the chakra, but it's taking information from your own chakra to balance it. So I think that when you balance all, all of them, you get, a, you get a good flow in the body. Yeah. I mean, I think you can also, of course, balance chakras in other ways, like True. meditation or yoga or whatever. But I, and I think that those are very good. But I think for some people who are not inclined to meditate yeah. and they may not have, you know, like the inclination to, to do that balancing, you're actually feeling like the energy go into the system. So for some people, it's like a, 
it, it's a good way to balance to balance it. Yeah. You yeah. just lay there and sleep while it's balancing for you, so it doesn't require much from you. It's kind of taking a spa and then you know machine and the therapist is doing it for you rather than you doing anything. So if well, it is like that. It's kind of like an energy spa because you yeah. really like when you're there on the technology, like the machine is a little separate. You lay on like a mat that it's that, and I'm programming the programs and testing out what programs to run. But when you're there, you basically just lay there and absorb the frequencies so i kind of call it like an energy spa i kind of yeah. is like that <laughs> because i happened to be there and uh, you know the way i was just sitting there and i i felt very good after you know being on that bioresonance uh, uh, therapy under the therapy so it was yeah like it's really interesting because when you experience it like because especially when you're like if you're balancing it you feel it balancing and if you're doing something where you're sending frequencies to the body that the body actually needs to balance itself it's almost like because you're sending substances energetically and it's almost like you feel your cellular receptors like they receive that information and you almost feel like a ah uh, like it's received like it's taking it in right it's and because it's on that energetic level it's immediate it doesn't have to process through your digestive system or whatever. It's just like this immediate um, absorption, not absorption. I don't know, but it's just, it's, it's just the energy connects to the energy and it's just like plugging something into a socket. It just goes right through. Uh, to me, I felt like magic. It's just thick <laughs> and it's there. I was just watching a, you know, earlier four years of uh, four years uh, ago like there was a share which i post like there was a post which i shared before so it was like i dreamed of Ginny. so there was you know so <laughs> i and i was like okay that feels like you know you have that realm of magic and it's so easier now to feel that that yeah everything can be so magical yeah it's so amazing because it really is magical and it really is like it's it's it's, it's a fairly really simple, simple concept, concept right you're just sending the frequencies that the body needs to heal itself to the body but yet it's like you know i mean i don't understand the physics behind it because i'm sure like to create such a machine you need to be like you know an, a physics an engineer in some kind of mechanical physics or quantum physics you know to design something like that because when you look at the parameters that are being sent yeah. you know there's all sorts of changes in the amplification and the frequency like it's not just one frequency it's like a whole bandwidth of frequencies and there's so many dimensions that are changed For sure. um so it's it's actually like really complex, but when you're receiving it, it's very easy for the body to receive it. It's yeah, it is, it is kind of like, it's kind of like scientifically magical. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the perfect, uh, you know, word to describe it. So scientifically <laughs> magical because we need to see the proof and we know the mechanism. Like I have done my electronics engineering. So I was like, it just looks like uh, an oscillator and, it's, you know, many people like in my, but those who studied with me, there are some of them here too today. So they'll be happy to see that we like, you know, that education is, a, is not wasted anywhere. Yeah. Like I'm still getting, you know, getting to see that and who knows that I'll be using it soon. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah and, it, and it's really interesting. Like, you know, so what can we do with it? So, I mean, there's so many, there's so many programs, you can almost do anything with it, but like, yeah. you know fundamentally you can send frequencies to the body to heal it mm -hmm. you can do things to alleviate symptoms you can do things to work on root causes like work on certain organ systems or meridian systems to to help them function better and then you can also detoxify key blockages regardless of what they are molds or parasites or heavy metals or um, bacteria, whatever, like you can detoxify that out of the body energetically. So there's no interference field there. Um, so, I mean, that's, that doesn't even sound very spiritual, but it actually, but the, the, but the process of like putting the oscillations to create like a, it's not an inversion because you can't invert frequencies, but I mean, it creates like a 180 degree phase. It's like a noise canceling you know it's like a noise cancelling that's the best example like it's you have the the frequency and then it's moved over 180 degrees and so it creates like a it cancels the sound right those noise frequency uh, noise cancellation headsets they cancel the sound right by moving the frequency over but 
essentially it's working on a similar similar way when we're removing uh, toxins from the body is just canceling the frequency of the toxin in the body long enough until the body can break up where it's being held in different like molecular structures water structures and then it's purged out of the body so like there's nothing really all that spiritual about that it's a very scientific process but yeah. when you clear it out you feel spiritual because you feel like the the rush of your body's own life force energy moving through so it's kind of very scientific but i always feel like it's very because when you feel good you just feel more spiritual right the the lighter you are you know the closer you are to the lightest of the all who's like that's right so yeah that's interesting and but then the thing is like if people have uh, um mercury in their teeth and once you clear it through bioresonance uh, what are the chances to you know for those to come back or um so so generally like with any toxin that you clear um, like it doesn't prevent the toxin from coming back. So like if you clear like a certain parasite imprint, I mean, one, we clear it so it's gone, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get it again somewhere. You know, if you go, I don't know, drink some water that's contaminated or something like that. When it comes to things like to heavy metal toxins like mercury, mm -hmm. like if the metal is still in your body physically, like you have a filling or something, we yeah. won't even do the treatment on you. Uh, because you have to remove the toxins from your mouth because otherwise I mean I don't know how long you would have to do bioresonance until it made the filling eliminate itself right because it's not like just an energetic store from you know from you know a, a former um, exposure so when it comes to things like toxins like that like heavy metals mm -hmm. you know we usually recommend that people go and talk to their dentist about safe mercury removal yeah. um, and then once that mercury is removed then whatever is the residual store then we can work on detoxifying that out of the body but you have to get rid of the, the the source of it and the same thing like with mold for example so if people have had mold exposure um let's say through like a leaky basement or like i don't know whatever like a leaky roof their roof leaked and it created like a mold in their in their attic or something which happens right. so we usually tell people that yes we can clear the mold out of them but if their roof is constantly if they have like mold in their roof because of it they have to sort of deal with remediate that first because otherwise you're getting cleared and then you're just going back right into the toxin yeah. and getting re reinfected so it's like it's sort of a waste of your energy to do it so first we say remove the toxin if you can right and then clear the body makes sense makes sense so uh, one has to take care of their lifestyle and then uh, beside that lifestyle uh, they can take the uh, therapy yeah i that's that's really the best way of kind of talking about it because even i find like you know even though you can do a lot of amazing things to have your energy be really strong with with the bioresonance like but if you're not taking care of you know putting your proper nutrients in and removing toxins and even like just taking care of your emotional and mental health you'll feel good while you're on the treatment you'll feel good even after the treatment for a long time but eventually you're gonna those if those habits don't change right. you just stay stuck in the same cycle absolutely yeah um except that sorry i felt like i lost you there for a second yeah. except that um like so you feel bad but then the cycle becomes like oh i feel really good and then i go and i feel bad again right and so it's not a cycle of always feeling bad but then it's a cycle of feeling good and feeling bad feeling good and feeling bad and we want to just get to the part where we just feel good and we don't have to feel bad <laughs> so it's a continuous journey and then you have to put your efforts uh, to be healthy along with the therapist yeah of course yeah and that's that's a wonderful thing to know that you know people they have to keep a life a healthy lifestyle where uh, we all come in so now let us know about your uh, uh, i have uh, you know i've been working with you uh, for this uh, seven days challenge so can you tell us a little bit more about this free challenge which is like which which is such a gift you know from your side to everyone so why don't uh -huh. you tell us here Okay, so the challenge is like, I'm not making it challenging. I want it to be kind of relaxing. Yeah. But the challenge is like a seven day challenge around building your boundaries for health. Because it's interesting what you said, like before, right, we want to, um, 
you know, still take care of our health and bioresonance is not just going to cure you if you don't take care of your health and build and build um, some healthy habits. Because one of the things is like any negative health habit creates a barrier because bioresonance is about letting energy flow through the body and any kind of healing. It doesn't matter if you're not doing bioresonance. It doesn't matter if you're doing acupuncture, like herbs, yoga, um, naturopathy, homeopathy. It doesn't matter what you're doing, but like it's about getting the energy moving through the body to heal you. And so every time we have anything that interferes with the, whatever we're doing for healing, it creates just resistance and blockages to even be able to do healing. So, you know, if we're not looking at our diet and we just, you know, don't have the right nutritional balance, that's a blockage for the body to be able to heal and use any therapy that you're using, right? If you're using like toxic products in your home, that becomes a physical blockage within your system, right? Chemically, it becomes a chemical blockage in your system to be able to heal. And on the same side, you know, like if we, for example, are, you know, allowing situations in our life to drain our energy, if we're allowing situations in our life to uh, throw us, you know, emotionally off somewhere completely, if we're constantly, you know, struggling with certain emotional, um, beliefs and issues that are constantly like dragging on us it also creates like a blockage to be able to heal completely no matter what kind of healing methodology you're using so those blockages um like they come at us right because these things are all around us and it's always potential for them to just block us all up so yeah. we have to be mindful about how to deal with those blockages so that they don't you know come at us and just block us all up so the the boundaries challenge like the boundaries for health is all about seven days about looking at how to deal with all those blockages that could come at us to know how to manage our energy with all of these things that come at us whether they're like physical toxins or but more often it's going to be like you know relationships that we have people who take advantage of our energy, you know, being super busy at work and just feeling overwhelmed with everything that you have to do. Um, you know, feeling like there's too many demands on your time, all of, you know, feeling like having a lot of negative self-talk and not feeling like you can get out of being like pessimistic. Like all of these things are blockages to our healing. And the only way we can heal that is to look at our boundaries because our boundary is like the gate between us and our energy and and the things outside it good things and bad things and in order to, for us to maintain our energy field in order to, in order to be able to heal to have the flow to heal we need to really be a good gatekeeper right and and really learn how to create good boundaries to know how to manage the negative things so they're not overwhelming us yeah. and you know how to how to take notice of the positive things as well but with boundaries it's usually at the beginning it's all about being overwhelmed by the negative and really learning how to block those things out so that we don't have those blockages coming into our healing journey so this and i feel like that's like such a key part of doing any kind of healing work like it doesn't it's bioresonance or not it's not really the point the point is anything that you're doing for healing if you don't learn how to manage all the blockages that could be coming into your life emotionally or psychologically or energetically mm -hmm. um we just we we make our healing path so much more difficult when we can't manage that so boundaries are really like how you allow your healing path to be like unblocked like an unblocked healing path that's that's interesting so it's a seven seven days and it's going to be sh like sure like i don't like when you know but like some people do lives and they go on for hours and hours and it's just like to me like short actionable things that you can reflect on and do to help you create firmer boundaries uh like that that's the aim of it for seven days uh not to overwhelm you with like you know more stuff <laughs> that that's that's interesting interesting enough seven days of action part and then short and sweet and it's starting from monday 28th september that's right will last uh like will end uh, end on sunday for that's october. right so i said 28th of october but it's 28th of september september oh, yeah october so um, that's amazing thing so how can people join uh, you for that challenge and what is the time which you are thinking to uh, you know go on live so that people can um make some room uh, because it, it's going to be so helpful 
and, and going to be transforming, like life changing. So I really would urge people to take their time out, those who are interested to um, get a complete healing and go to the highest level of the energy, which they, like, I believe in this, that, you know, once you work on your boundaries and you know what not to be, you know, uh, what to control and what not to allow um, for that, you know, so like you'll be able to uh, be the best guide, uh, setting your boundaries, what not to allow and what to allow, like a cell does in your introduction, you say that, you know, like a head yeah. cell does. Yeah, because it's really about like, yeah, I, I like the image of the cell because cells let in nutrients, let out, you know, toxins, and we have to be like that too into our whole being. And, and nutrients and toxins aren't just what we think of. It's also like energies of people, personalities, things like that. Mm -hmm. But also just like when we think of like our path of healing, mm -hmm. you don't want blockages on it, right? You want it to be a clear and easy path to healing, as easy as possible. So we try to like, you know, clear that, clear that up with having good, good boundaries. It's like little guards that clear the pathway so that there's, yeah. there's nothing in the way. Sure. Um, well, I think that you have a, we have a link, right? That people can link to, to sign up for, that can sign up for the, uh, for, for the challenge. And it's going to be done. We'll do it through zoom and through the Facebook page. Um, because that's how, that's the easiest way to do it. I think for people to connect to. So there's just an email for people to sign up. And, uh, as for time, it's always hard to find a time that's yes. good for everybody because everyone has different schedules, but I'm thinking like, you know, 5.30 is a kind of right. good time around 5.30 because it's like sort of before you totally are relaxed at home coming. Yeah. I mean, it does. I mean, of course, it's not going to fit everyone's schedule, but it, it's always going to be recorded so you can catch it. It doesn't have to be live. It can be caught after also. So the live will be at 5.30, but that doesn't yeah. have to be... Oh, yeah. uh, so we'll keep sending people a uh, recording, those who have already signed and enrolled. That's and right. Have their email IDs. So we can, uh, one option, we can send them emails. Another option, they can come again to the group if they are in, in the group. That's so right. Those would be inside the group as well. So that's like, I really wanted to know the time because I didn't know the time myself. So it's good to know, 5.30 yeah. p.m. Uh, Eastern time, which is we are yes, in Eastern Canada, time. So it's Eastern time. Perfect. So I am, uh, you know, it's uh, this much is good for me to digest even being, uh, you know, with you for a couple of days that, you know, this is what you do. Uh, you heal people with the energy and then whatever blockages are, you and your gadgets, your devices are helping them to clear that out. And you're taking that to a next level, which is Theta Healer. You can help people from distant as well. So somebody who's sitting in Australia or India, will you be able to help them out? Well, yeah, with Theta Healing, we could, you know, for that spiritual and emotional clearing, uh -huh. definitely like you can do that with Theta Healing. But unfortunately with the bioresonance, you have to be like on the machine for it to do anything. Yeah, so. Well, it's not, we haven't figured out a way to make it distance yet. <laughs> we, let's see if the thought has come. So let's see what, uh, you know, the solution will follow the thought. But uh, if people want to contact you for any kind of healing modality, which you're giving from distance, or if they want to come to you and take the appointment for uh, the bioresonance uh, therapy. So how can you be reached? Uh, just reach us through the through the clinic and uh, someone from the front desk will help you out. Perfect. So everybody who's, uh, you know, watching us here now or maybe uh, is watching the recording, uh, I'll send you a link of Eco Health Wellness Clinic and you can um, help yourself to get more help. So I am so thankful, Joanna, that you took out, took out time and came here for this uh, live, live podcast at this podcast. I'm very happy you invited me. Yeah, thank you so much. It's a pleasure uh, being around you and feeling your energy. You're such a, you know, your energy is felt even with the Zoom and this, uh, this distant also, like, you know, there is no distance if, if the energy is felt. So I'm so very Thank happy. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah, perfect. So... Any last thing which you want to tell us or tell our viewers or any, you know, finishing note? Um, 
we've covered a lot, but I mean, I think like if we we're going to, we're talking about like healing and energy healing and, and just healing in general. And, you know, I think like the key thing with healing is the healer is actually not the person you go to. It's not the technology or herbs or whatever you use. Like the real healer is you. Yeah. Like the person who's seeking healing, ultimately you heal yourself, right? You might go to somebody who has some gadget or has some technique or you see a healer. Like I see lots of healers too. I have my own healers that I see for my own things. But ultimately, like if you're seeking healing, you have to become your own healer. For sure. That's a million dollar advice. <laughs> healing people. So, you know, I have to write a million dollar check to you now. <laughs> We can, we can share it. We can share it for sure. So it's being created for us. We can share it. I love this idea. So generous. So uh, yeah, healer is uh, within all of us. And But then, you know, you need some time, a guidance, a coaching for some time. Or maybe, you know, we go to our healers, uh, but then it's all inside you. Your in, inner intelligence would know that you need healing and just get out of the way and let that inner intelligence work for you. So that's- Yeah, I like that inner intelligence. That's exactly what it is. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it's, it's such a, you know, it's such a privilege to be in this field where you can talk to lovely souls like this and also help, I, you know, I don't, I'll, maybe I'll take two, three minutes. This is one question just, which is coming. How do you feel once people are, uh, coming up with their testimonials or they share their feelings like I am feeling such so good and the spark in their eyes or you feel you know you feel that you were a medium from you know for their height from here to to help them to you know from you know let them uh, be here from here so how do you feel once they come up with the nice testimonials or you can feel via their energy okay their energy is so feeling good and they are feeling good so how do you feel well i mean it's always very like it's it's always very gratifying when people feel good and they feel happy right because they yeah. feel they feel good so they feel happy and so that's always like gratifying and of course like i feel happy about it but i always feel like okay i had some part to play in it so that's nice but i always feel like i always want to say like but you allowed the healing Absolutely. Right. Like, okay, I did my job as best as I could. I gave you the advice. I did the program. I did whatever, or as a clinic we did, right. Or whatever it happens to be. But it's like the person deserves a lot of the credit because they're the ones who stuck with the healing. They went through the process. They dealt with, you know, whatever ups and downs happened. And so like, really, it's like when you heal, you should congratulate yourself because you've become your own healer. That's such a nice thing. It's a humble way, but then that's, that's a truth also that without they wanting to be healed and then, you know, allowing you to help on them, to work on them and do the magic on them. It's like healing cannot be done. Thank you so much, Joanna, for being here. Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. Okay. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Thank you everyone for being here and I'll see you all. So let's see if we have any questions. So I'll be live here for say about five minutes. So just in case if you have any questions for us, uh, those can be answered. So I'll take those questions for uh, Joanna. And then, um, okay, so Harinder is there. Thank you Harinder for your nice words. So I'll be here for say about five more minutes before I conclude this podcast. And I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, initially I was, this is my first uh, podcast and I was thinking that, you know, how this is going to go. And then um, Joanna is a well-known name and then it's such a nice personality. So I was a little nervous initially, but then once, you know, you can see her, you know, her, um, conduct or her uh, behavior or her her energy to make everybody so 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 comfortable so that was one thing that i felt so comfortable in her presence so if you have any questions let me see otherwise i'll just sign off and then um, yeah 
Okay, great. So let's see if we have any questions. Otherwise, I'll sign up, sign out, and then please um, uh, be connected, be in touch, so that I can send you further details of this seven days live challenge. Uh, as Joanna said, this is not going to be challenge. This is going to be very easy, and that's her gift to all of us. So I would encourage most all of you to participate. And the timings are 5.30 p.m. according to EST Canadian time. So I'll see you all. Thank you so much. And that's all. Thank you so much. And I'm just finding out a way to sign out. Okay, great.